Greetings, everyone, and welcome to the Midweek War! It's me, Mad Mike, back from New York Comic Con, where I got a Lego Sentinel because it's a Lego Sentinel. Um, and we're here. I'm here again to talk some 205 Lizzle. With me, as always, is the one and only Sorgatron. Absolutely, Mad Mike. I am here ready to talk about the flippy shit with you today and character development. Woo! Characters! We got some here on the Flippity Floppity Show. You know, we don't have Sorg. We don't have PowerPoints. No, we don't, but there we can no change that. We can change that. Yes, yes, we can. Uh, yes, hashtag yes, we can. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Uh, Sorg, what is your word for 205 Live this week? Oh, my word for 205 Live is uh, capitalize. Capitalize, as in capitalize on the lucha. Okay. Uh, my word this week is broom. Oh wow! Yes, yes, yeah. Un- it's a very surprising, very surprising. But yeah, broom. Broom is the word for the week. Uh, Sorg, uh, what what would be your good for two hundred five live this week? There was a lot of good on two hundred five live. Um, this is and, and, you know, spoiler alert. This is kind of a really good week of wrestling. Uh, so a lot that I like. I say the the best good of this week is uh really the Rich Swan TJ match actually that was the best wrestling and it was actually a light wrestling show now that i think about it but there was a lot that happened oh yeah 205 live i think is sold and because it's kind of where it should have been in the first place Mm -hmm. with with kalisto and hopefully still neville being parts of the show (laughs) because that's something we wanted ever since the cruiserweight classic started Right, right. Like it, it's so weird because, um, and it, I'm listening to the uh, the Singh brothers on Jericho, and they're like, "Yeah, we were like the first match on 205, and then they sent us directly to NXT because we didn't know what a hard cam was, you know. It, it, you know, they they really kind of like threw these guys out the fly, and then they bypassed them and sent them to SmackDown when they probably should be on 205 Live. Yeah, yeah. Well, well no, no, those guys. No, 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 those guys. Uh, listen to the Jericho podcast. It makes sense, absolutely. Yeah, but but you can be on both. Well, yeah, yeah, you can be on both because they're both cruiserweights. Like mm. I'd love to see the Singh brothers as a heel tag team on. And, that. and maybe like, it's a thing where they come back to it when this thing with Ginger ends. Yeah. So. Uh, okay. So, uh, but yeah, I was surprised that there was a clean sweep. Yeah. From Rich Swan. Really? I mean. Well, the whole story here has been TJP is I'm better than you, even though I've been getting beat and, and everything like that and having a problem with getting beat. So I think the story is more Swan is better and they're supposed mm-hmm. to be friends, but TJP is more concerned about, you know, his reaction to being beat than how, you know, actually winning. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, you yeah. get where I'm coming from here? He was showboating a lot during the match. Like, if he wasn't showboating, he might have actually won the second fall. Absolutely. And he might not have gotten caught for the first fall. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, my, my good this week is I think 205 Live is going to steal from Lucha Underground, and I'm okay with it. What? Now, see, I, I think that's my bad. Because I Whoa. feel like I feel like Kalisto is like, hey, look, we got Lucha when you can't watch anything in two weeks for Lucha, you know, um, and, 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 and look, he's our, our resident Luchador. Look, look, guys, we got a guy with a mask, too. Like, that's what that's that's kind of my feeling going into this. Oh, no, but but I think we're going somewhere different, Sorg. Now, now, Kalisto's awesome. Don't get me wrong. I like him, but he's just like he's like our token Lucha. But well, I'm all right. First of all, he's not the only luchador on the fucking show. No, he isn't, all but right, he's so, the only one that WWE Sorg, seems to care about. Sorg, hashtag kitty cat man. I know, all hashtag right. kitty cat man. Ride that Braun Strowman like a battle cat. <laughs> um, but I think... Now, I I don't like the token luchador thing. <laughs> that The fact that I coined it or the fact that it's, it's maybe the truth? Both. Okay. Uh, but... 
Sorg, I think we're going somewhere with this Kalisto and Enzo Amore feud. Mm -hmm. And Enzo kind of referenced it. He kind of tipped his hat a little bit he, when he said that he ripped the mask of Kalisto a little bit. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sorg, do you yeah. know what we had last? Do you know what we had last week on Lucha? Blood. Lots of we, blood. We had, I can't we, see past we, the blood. Okay. 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 <laughs> We had a mask versus hair match. Could you imagine a world in which Kalisto versus Enzo Amore for the Cruiserweight Championship becomes a Lucha de Apuestas match? Mask versus hair. Oh, you have me uh -huh. intrigued, Mad Mike. Uh-huh. It's almost like I'm doing their writing for them. Because if we're not going there, we should be going there. <laughs> and then they already sell the Enzo wig. When he gets his head shaved, <laughs> he needs to come out wearing that Enzo wig. wig. Yes. Uh, have because, you seen? Hey, it will sell more wigs mm -hmm. and it will sell more masks. It It's literally win, 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 win. It's literally all of the wins. But yeah, that's where we should be going with this. I don't think we're going to go there with this, but that's where we should be going. Because if I remember correctly, I think Night of Champions is a raw pay per view, right? I have lost track. It, I think it was SmackDown. No. It was SmackDown last year, so I think they're going to switch them up. Okay, um, I, I think so. I'm going to double check while we're doing this. Um, Sorg, what is your bad for uh, 205 Live this week? Um, I think I said uh, it's the it's. It's the Me Too Luchadorness. Okay. Um, so that, that, that's really, you just don't like the... Uh... No, because I feel like it, it's like WWE's like, hey, everybody's really into Luchadors right now. We got one, and we're going to completely put them on top, you know? And it was also a little bit of um, his his promo saying, oh, there's a Luchador on the, on the you know, with the, with the Cruiserweight belt and all this stuff, right? And it's just like, I, okay. Okay. All right, I'm not terribly yeah. excited about the fact that Luchador is 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 the champion. Um, I just feel like that's a thing that should naturally happen in your cruiserweight division. That's true. Um, uh, also, Class of Champions is a SmackDown event. Oh, really? Which is unfor which is unfortunate. Hmm. But I mean, we still could get on, I guess, 205 Live or maybe on Raw, because it looks like we're not going to have a Raw pay per view, like a straight up Raw pay per view. Um after TLC for the rest of the year, even before the Royal Rumble. Like, they haven't announced really? anything. That's weird. We're not getting that's two what, in December? That's what it looks like. They haven't announced anything. Wow. That is, that's really Yeah, weird. that's that's why I'm... Because I know they're doing Starcade, like that house show thing, but I thought... I'm Okay, it's just weird. That's just pay-per-view schedules. We'll figure something out. Yeah, but they've anyway... Been, they've been really we're, strange we're, about announcing, too, so... I mean, maybe we could do it at the Rumble. That would actually be really great. Do you I'd think really dig them doing it. You think we're going to, you really think, I, mean, I guess you could have, you have a lot of time, you could do a lot in there, but uh, waiting all the way to Rumble for that, it just seems a little extended. I feel like, I feel like they have a long, uh, a shorter turnaround on 205 Live storylines. Um, I'd like you to ask Neville about that because he held that title for a really long time. <laughs> this is true. This is true. <laughs> All right. Uh, so my bad this week is um, that we didn't get a PowerPoint. Aww. We didn't get a PowerPoint. Like we we got a, a fun Drew Gulak segment, um, but we we need a PowerPoint. I like I like uh, it. Feels natural. The the bad guys rallying around uh, uh, Enzo at this point too. They're like, yeah, no, I initially didn't like what you had to say, but I kind of like the way you're saying it. You know, kind of discussions. And I love that Davari is just like his little buddy now. Oh yeah, Davari is like a a big cash shrunk in the dryer. Also, also main event tag match with two Middle Eastern guys represented. Good to see. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I think it's the, awesome. the main event the main event tag match was actually a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed it. Uh, but Sorg, uh, you know, not every show is perfect. We know this. Uh, what would you change about Two Hundred Five Live this week? What would I change about Two Hundred Five Live this week? Um, no, there was a lot that I liked. There was a lot that I liked. Um, I wish. I wish Kalisto was Drago. <laughs> I'm just going to put that out there. 
Okay. All right. That's fair. I like Kalisto, though. I, I like Kalisto. I yeah. like Kalisto. Don't get me wrong. I like Kalisto. I'll give him credit. I... The promo he had in the beginning of the show was the best lucha thing he's ever done. I have to like. I have to like. I like Kalisto. He's. I've worked with him on a super indie before. You know, as Samurai Del Sol, which I love that his move is now his old indie name. Um, but close, uh, close, close. Salida Del Sol is I the thought move. I thought he said Samurai when he announced it this week. No, I don't think unless, so. Unless the announcers are screwing up, maybe. So, um, anyways, yeah, it, it's uh, no, that, yeah, that, that's it, that's it. It just, I, I, it just feels like, hey, here's other guy that is more significant to hang out in this Fed and not give Mustafa Ali a chance. Okay, uh, my 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 change this week would have been, I would have had. TJP and Swan go to a third fall and then have Lindsay Doral just come out and end both of their worlds. <laughs> you want Kitty Cat Man to go full, like, like you don't want him to go Battle Cat on them. I want him to go him. full Battle Cat. No, he's going to go Panthor on them. I, whatever the reference you want to make, he needs to go all of them. Like... I've also been watching a lot of those new He-Man Geico commercials. Holy crap. Uh-huh. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, but, like, uh, I thought we were going to get some kind of payoff to, like, Lindsay not being able to wrestle two weeks in a row. And mm. it was very unfortunate that He's too busy on the really event happen. doing kick-ass stuff. Him and him. Apparently, there's a quota for mass wrestlers on 205 Live. And yeah, Grand so Malik got... Grand, Grand Metallic and, uh, and Lisa Dorado are like, oh. Sorg, I'm not watching main event. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I, wa- I, I watch too much wrestling as it is. I'm not watching main event. That is fair. That is fair. Um, all right. So, Sorg, where, oh, where do you rank 205 Live this week? Oh, there's so much good, but it's number three. Yeah, it's number three. I think. Wow. Wow. I, I okay. I think I'm going three. Yeah. Okay. The, the um, good stuff. I felt like there was wrestling, but maybe not enough of it. But what was there was really good. Um, but I think somebody, obviously, Ultra is going to just one up everything for the next two weeks. But uh, I think I think NXT beat it out on the wrestling. Okay. Um, I'm going number two. I'm going number two. Um, to me, the really good wrestling matches on the second and third ranked show canceled mm-hmm. out. Okay, and you, and you got more storyline development on two hundred five. Mm-hmm. I respectable. I, I I see where you're coming from there. Yeah, like because I, I also thought that the um the main event tag match was fun. Oh, it was absolutely. And, yeah, like because like if you like the first two segments on two hundred five and NXT to me are equal in storytelling. They were really good about following up that energy from that main event on Raw. Yeah. To to this. And you and you and actually I haven't talked to you since you watched Raw. Um just as a, a small aside, what do you think about that as a thing leading into two oh five live now? I'm happy it puts Mustafa Ali in the main event picture. There you go. That that uh, that's that's the main takeaway from it. Like Mustafa Ali is finally getting uh, his due a little bit. Like Mustafa like, yeah. so the, the, now the poll is who gets their due first and gets a title? Mustafa Ali or Cedric Alexander? God, if I had my druthers, that would be the main event. That would be the WrestleMania pre-show match for the cruiserweights. <laughs> it should if be. I it really my, should be. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Sorg, if I could name my own birthday present, that's what it would be. Because if you didn't know, WrestleMania is on my birthday. You know what makes me sad about that? I found out I am going to be in California. During oh, that. Sorg. <laughs> oh, Sorg. <laughs> I'm going to celebrate your birthday by being even farther away from you than I usually am. Do you, do you know how I'm going to celebrate my birthday, Sorg? Um, probably dressed in a Ric Flair robe, wooing and chopping everybody in sight, uh, drunk off your ass. Yes, yes. In New Orleans. In New That's Orleans. That's my plan. Lots of That's beats. my plan. Lots of beats. Hashtag, hashtag birthday mania. You're going to flash hashtag the tatas a lot. Yes, I am. Yep. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. I'll be wearing a Ric Flair robe and no pants. Mad Mike gets all the beads, ladies. Yes. 
Yes, that is true. All right. Uh, so, Sorg, where can the good people in the internet find you? Uh, we are at SorgatronMedia.com for all the fine content. You can check out stuff we're working on with Wrestling Mayhem Show, Awesome Cast. New interesting stuff coming up we're just having meetings about. If you like video games and you like hip-hop, there's going to be some stuff for you on the network. So you're doing a Toe Jam and Earl podcast? Oh, we just changed our pitch. Okay. Or yes. or, jet, or Jet Set Radio? or uh... <laughs> no no real hip-hop real or, or, pittsburgh or how about how about crazy taxi a class d license i don't know no 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 that one was like a lot of offspring so i don't think that counts that, that's fair that's that's a that's a good point okay uh you can find me at mad mike 4883 on the twitter machine also go to at mayhem show look for the hashtag mm Next Wednesday is the finale of Lucha Underground. Holy crap, 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 holy crap. I I am going to be live tweeting the fuck out of it because it's two hours. And um yeah, and I'll try and throw some thoughts on NXT and two oh five live too. But I'm probably going to be pre primarily lucha focused. Yes. All right. So for Sorgatron. I'm Mad Mike, and we will catch you guys next week on the Mid Week War!